Welcome back to my little channel. Today we're going to talk about how the United Nations once again wants to shaft everyone who is not a them. Now they are truly a global movement. And it's not nice to say that they are a global movement because in this case it definitely is a negative thing. But they once again prove this to be the case. And obviously they make a lot of money trying to help people. I always have a problem with people making money helping people. I mean, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But as the image shows you, this is a tent camp. Refugees are here. And according to the United Nations, the world needs more refugees. No, that mustn't be it. Yeah, well, it, it, it must. Because according to to the UN, the world needs to prepare for millions of climate displaced. So basically refugees because of the climate. If you can read it yourself, you can, but I will read it for you. The ruling says, if you have an immediate threat to your life due to climate change, due to the climate emergency, and if you cross the border and go to another country, you should not be sent back because you would be at risk of your life, just like in war or in a situation of persecution, Grandi says. So climate change now also is a reason for people to flee from one country to the next. One can argue whether that's justified or not, but what I find interesting is if you, for example, come from a country where you are hit by some kind of climate catastrophe, Chances are the country next to you will have the same problem. They might deal with that problem better. And because they deal with the problem better, they are now punished in taking in more people to take care of because their neighbor didn't take care of them. I wonder how long this can go right. But don't worry about it. It's not as if they go from one African country to another African country. No, no, they go from an African country to a European country. Because obviously the only countries in the world where refugees can go to are Europe. They can't go to most countries in the direct vicinity. That's unfair of me, of course they can, but no one ever talks about that. They're still talking about how we should take in more refugees from the Middle East in Europe. Mind you, the UNHCR talks about that as well because and I'm going down a little bit the UNHCR who, whose budget has arisen from 1 billion a year to 8.6 billion in 2019 has conflicts in Iraq, Afghanistan and Syria they have more than 70 million displaced people to deal with then again with 8.6 billion there are countries that have less money to deal with and I think that's the clue to it all. It's, it's about money. They need more money. By the way, did you notice those countries that I mentioned, Iraq, Afghanistan and Syria, none of them have any environmental problems. I mean, they have a lot of refugees. Yeah, sure. But those refugees are not because of environment. And now a large of... A large group of these refugees went into Turkey and Turkey is getting money from Europe to deal with them. And what I do find interesting is that a large group of these people also went into Europe, but they are not mentioned. Makes you wonder why. The thing is this though. There is one country in the world that did ask for money because uh, of climate change. And they were given money. It's Zimbabwe. I'm not going to read the whole article for you, but I wonder how many of you still remember that Zimbabwe did everything they could to chase off the white farmers of their land. They killed them. They murdered them. They drove them off their lands. And this is not done by random thugs. This was done by the government. And then all of a sudden they seem to lack farmers who the thunk and we call that 
climate change? I don't think the climate had a reason in it. Or at least not a cause. I mean, let's be honest, if you kill off your farmers, you're going to have a problem creating food. And then you can say, well, yeah, but, but water. No, no, I don't think water is the main issue here. I think killing your farmers was the main issue. But obviously, we're not going to talk about that. No, 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 no. But the United Nations is adamant we need more money. And whilst we need more money, we need to have more people being allowed to flee from whatever country they want to, to whatever country they want to. And all they have to do is say, the climate did it. Never mind the fact that we still haven't conclusively based our climate troubles on anything that's been going on. I mean, if we look at Zimbabwe, the biggest problem isn't the fact that it wasn't raining. The biggest problem is they killed their farmers. If we look at other countries in Africa, yeah, it's not that they can't farm. It's just that the people that can farm don't. If we look at other countries worldwide, it's always the same countries that need to foot the bill for helping. And it's always the same countries that need help. Maybe it's time that we recognize that helping people means that they need to be able to do things for themselves. And if they can't, we cannot help them. Why is that so important? Well, let's be honest. If we go back to the 70s and the 80s of, of the last century, there were a few huge projects when it came to starvation in Africa. There were failed crops. Then the people in the Western world felt guilty. They got a lot of money together, sent that money to those African countries. And the next year, those African countries had failed crops once again, because they knew that if they would fail, they would get food for free. And it's not even that, because there were farmers that didn't fail, but they couldn't sell their crop because there was so much free food coming from Europe and the Western world, that the farmers that did successfully create food couldn't sell it, therefore went bankrupt. And the next year they couldn't produce food either because, well, they couldn't buy the supplies needed. We need to stop helping these people. And we need to do it fast. Because every time we help them, we make the situation worse. Or they make the situation worse and we, hmm, how do you say this, allow it to happen? Anyway, criticism as always is more than welcome. I do look forward to hear what you think. Let me know and uh, I hope to see you all next time.